105,000 pounds refurb project. Today, we're gonna to go through Mark's project to see the end result of what he's been able to achieve in his two to four bedroom conversion in Southwest London. So let's go inside, stay tuned, and let's see what's going on. Yes, so Mark is actually taking us inside. I haven't looked at it because I said I want as most authentic reaction as possible. And my first impression so far is this lovely door color. Mark, just tell us what color this door is. He can't this even is, tell. No, 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 I know what it is. It's, um, it's Dulux Misty Grey, Misty, Misty Blue. Misty, Misty blue. blue. I think it looks very, it, it gives me Brighton for some reason. I kind of hear that actually. Do you get what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like it. I yeah. really do like it. Yeah. Especially it was, it was a similar colour before, um, but just a little little change of tone. Yeah. Like it. It's good. Yeah. It looks we've, really we've nice. We've gone for sides as well. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, you've done it on the sides. Yeah. yeah. So take us through. Literally, first time I've just pulled up and I said, I'm going to start recording from now so that I get, I, I've seen small clips of it, but I want the the actual reaction, the first time. All right, cool. Um, Take us through. I won't, I won't even ask you to take your shoes off. Oh, you? Oh, <laughs> I won't. I won't. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Come through. Come Whoa. Through. I'm loving the stairs. As of this runner. Okay, what we're going to do for the viewers, they're going to be really lucky because we're going to tell them where we got everything from as well. As no we're problem. going through, right? No problem. So the runner... Because that's the first, another first impression I've seen. Dunelm. 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 Relatively cheap. Because you know a lot of runners, you have to get a custom made. Yeah. So I managed to get the straight one from uh, Dunelm. But yeah. we'll see later that kind of messed up a little bit. Uh, and I need, there's a little, there's a few snagging bits that we need to Oh, uh, okay. Did you just chop it up? No, because I, I only got the straight runner. I yeah. kind of forgot that the winding one you have to get. Just like oh, the yeah, because of the stairs. I didn't think about it. It's, yeah, it's yeah, obvious yeah. when you realise. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I just didn't think about it when I was ordering it. But um, it's fine. We'll, um, we'll sort it out retrospectively. So okay, not, not, brilliant. Yeah. Should we start? Where, where should we start? I reckon let's start at the back and then we'll work our way through and then up. Okay, perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 I <laughs> clean. <laughs> Very, very, very clean. I, I wouldn't have it. normally gone for this kind of kitchen. This however, is, nice. is this however, a quartz white right top? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're treating your tenants. I feel like you have to go quartz in London. Yeah, you do, you do, you do. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, especially in Southwest London. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought because the, the flooring is quite busy, going herringbone in the flat, I thought yeah. let me go a little bit more simple with the units. Okay. Um, so a little bit of contrast, and I like the backsplash as well. I, I I was just about to say this backsplash has caught my eye. Where's yeah. the backsplash from? Uh, all of my tiles, actually not all of my tiles. Normally Boyden tiles. This is from Boyden tiles. Yeah. It's, um, there's one in uh, Croydon. It's yeah, yeah. I was about to say. Yeah. And how much is it per? I wouldn't. Have, you know, like shops like that. I just yeah. never think to go inside. Was you recommended? I previously bought tiles from like a high street shop. Yeah. And then as it got delivered, I yeah. saw Boyden tiles. <laughs> so what, am I, what am I paying premium prices for? Cut, cut out the middleman. Man, straight, 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 straight to the plug. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I actually can't remember how much they were, but they were very reasonable. Um, I ended up, I took one of my friends to, to the... Um, store yeah and he had been to top stars beforehand okay so in his mind he was like oh i've really seen like the prices of top yeah. stars i just want to keep it cheap da, 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 da. i said don't worry just pick your favorites and i'll get a price I'll, the... yeah. <laughs> I'll get a price for them after and they were cheaper than top stars cheaper than top stars and it's going to be for sure better quality yeah so i can't i can't remember the exact price of those but it was it was reasonable nothing, okay. nothing crazy at all you're gonna to have to take me there then. Yeah, You're going yeah, to yeah. have to no take problem. me there. No no, this is really nice. And I like the way it contrasts with these sockets as well. Are these sockets exclusive to the root, this kitchen or does it go throughout the bed? They're the same throughout. Okay. They're, 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 okay. They're, 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 they're the same throughout. So we've got, um, we've got brush chrome with gray inserts like and screwless. We've got them throughout. Wow. So it's a nice touch. I feel like screwless is a nice touch. Sometimes it doesn't fit that nicely on the wall. Yeah. But where we've got mostly new plastered walls. So it, it, it works quite well with it. This is like a complete different tone to when I saw you spoke to you last time. In terms of your cost saving, it sounds already, we've just been in this kitchen. Yeah. That a lot was probably, a lot more was spent than anticipated. But you're happy I, with I, it. I, yeah. I, I don't like compromise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like compromise. I think I haven't really compromised anywhere in this project. If, if when we're going through, I've compromised somewhere, yeah. I'll let you know. Yeah. Actually, there's one. I didn't get new windows. Okay, but it it's, it's not really like, a yeah. compromise. They weren't the, broken. They're still double glazed. You, you, some of the, I mean, 
This is only missing because I replaced the handles. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I just I'm missing a couple of handles throughout. But the windows themselves we didn't replace. Yeah. But um, the handles we replaced. But, okay. You know, no, this is looking really nice. We've got all integrated appliances here as well. Oh, even a dishwasher. Even a, even a dishwasher. Even a dishwasher. Even a dishwasher. I've <laughs> got a nice integrated fridge here as well. And, that, and this this kitchen, I'm guessing, where's this kitchen from? Howden's? Yeah. Yeah, Howden's. I like Howden's. Yeah, Howden's kitchen. I like Howden's. Decent customer service, decent range. You know what? Their customer service is actually really good, especially yeah. when you need to get something changed exactly. or anything. They'll, they'll send something out yeah. next, next day pretty Literally much. Literally next yeah. day. Sometimes same day if they can. I say that. Bit of a mistake here. When the kitchen designer came out, because this space here actually eats into the architrave, okay. they didn't put a end panel. panel. Yeah. Oh, so okay. it's, it's not the most ideal thing because your, your door doesn't open or it has less space to open. Okay. Um, but something which is very aesthetically pleasing. Oh, that, is, <laughs> <laughs> that is clean. It's just the little things, isn't it? It's, just, it's the little things. It's yeah. the little things. Yeah. Oh, no, that's really good. Okay, now... Can you remember the deal with I was about to say, I was just about to say, time to go into, you know, the bathroom. As, like, the Grab big reveal, okay? Grab the light. You know what? Go through. Let's go in. Yeah? What, you, you go, you go, you go. Okay. Oh, my. Mark! I must say, <laughs> you made the right decision. <laughs> so, before... Um, I can't remember, I don't know if you remember the design of the bathroom that was here before. Yes, I do. It was yeah. basically the same. These tiles were basically similar type of tiles. Similar. So yeah. they, were, they were mosaic ones before. Yeah. They were more square. Yeah. Um, and sim again, similar tiles here as well. Um, but I just decided it wasn't going to work out. The, yeah. the whole, the property is new. Um, so I just decided to level up everything. This wasn't a freestanding bath before. Um, oh, okay. It was a one like built in. It was sort yeah. of tiled, tiled in. Yes, um, I remember that actually. But I just thought this that square, it, isn't it? Was it? I've always kind of wanted to go for wow, one of these. These, this is nice. But um, sorry, it's never really to, been the. I just need to wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's never really been the right property for it, but it works perfectly here. And the funny thing is, because this is a rental, yeah. In the next year, how many times do you reckon I'll be used? Like. Hardly any time. I reckon yeah. maybe like twice. Yeah, <laughs> no, hardly any. It's, it's one of those things you, you come into the bathroom and you're like, wow, that looks incredible, but you'll never use it. And it's just good to look. It's yeah. just very aesthetically yeah. pleasing. Yeah. I don't know if you've realised, but we changed these as well. Of course. That, but like for like, so you can't really see the, the difference between the previous version and this, um, but it was just a bit dated and so it just got a nice, nice clean. And it's just it. the thing, like if you were going to spend that much, it's like you might as well just do guess, it. Guess how much were these windows, these mirrors? Um, bespoke. Like bespoke. Yeah. Bespoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Cut, cut to size. Okay. Um, I'm looking at hundred and mm, hundred and fifty pounds. Close. Two hundred. Two hundred pounds. Which is very reasonable. Yeah, not, for, not for, for, including VAT. Yeah, yeah. yeah Two hundred. For, yeah. for mirrors, these size, this size, I think it's, I think that's a decent price. Okay. Decent price. Are they like, against like MDF or? Yeah. So we kept the. Um, the carcass of the unit as well. Yeah. We just replaced the door and the so it's it's like oh, stuck onto the, the, the door. That's a really good idea. So yeah, all in two hundred pounds. Very pounds. good because they look, I really like these towels. They look bigger so, than right. sixty by six. Are they sixty by sixty? Sixty by sixty. Yeah, yeah, they look bigger for some reason. So I got the kitchen tiles from Boydens, but yeah. these ones are from Mandarin Stone. Okay. Mandarin stone, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Do you know what it was? When we went to Lousy's project. Yeah, I was literally saying like, okay, said, million pound. I said, oh, those tiles. <laughs> those tiles are crazy. <laughs> those tiles are crazy. Um, and yeah, just I, I just had to go for them. I really, really like these tiles. Um, I was initially going to go for this as just a feature wall. So it's just going to be on that one. Yeah. But then I saw on Pinterest or whatever. I was about to say, I love the contrast. I, I love it, yeah. I, I love the it's, whole it's so It's so simple. Yeah. It's not it's not a com complex design at all, but I think it works really, really well. No, I love um, the contrast. Elephant in the room. Okay. I wasn't going to say it, but... <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say it, but... Elephant. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I was going to say, off camera, room. I would have been like, what, what are you going to do the window? <laughs> well, you know... The elephant in the room is anywhere in this project where the finish is a little bit off. Yeah. It's where I've brought in individual trades at the end. Okay. This wasn't my main builder. 
and I didn't think you have to specify to a bathroom fitter. Yeah. Tile the reveals. Yeah, yeah, you have to. Like, what, what else? What else am I meant to yeah, do? Yeah, yeah, no, it's mad. And I always say this to people: your tradesman is only as good as you instruct them. Yeah. If you don't say specifically yeah. everything, you so, come back. And like, sometimes you can feel very condescending when you're telling them very, it, very simple <laughs> things, but tile the reveals. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm gonna have to get someone in re retrospect. He's more or less refusing to come back. So yeah. I've taken money from him, but he's just like, I'm not coming back to do the reveals. Is it? So okay, now I'm going to yeah. have to get a separate Tyler in to come in. Oh, it's just so annoying. It's just one of those things. It's just like, come on. Also, I don't know why I'm revealing all of this to you. Yeah. He did the hot and cold the wrong way around. Are you being serious? You pay this much money for someone to install a bath and then they make a simple error like that. But you know what you just have to do, right? You just have to colour this in red and you just kind of colour that in blue. Everyone says that. <laughs> Every, everyone says that. You're just gonna I'm, have to do I'm, that. I'm, I'm just going to leave it. You'll figure out. <laughs> what? You'll figure out. If you're taking the bath, you'll figure out. And they figure it out once they're inside. They're just like, yeah, yeah. lovely hot bath. And it's like, that's <laughs> bath. Yeah. And next time they know. That's it. <laughs> No, I but see. I really like this and the shower again. So this is what will most likely be used. And you've got good, I didn't even realise you had a storage cupboard there yeah, as so well. Yeah, that's, that's where the boiler stored. And then we've just got some spare materials and ladder mop. That's all yeah. the stuff there's, yeah. Oh, oh nice. Too much there. Really cool. And I like the yeah. way that you went for like concealed units as well. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I think that's one way of making a, a bathroom look more luxury than it yeah. actually is. Um, I think a lot of these, a lot of the choices of materials, they look luxury, but they're not expensive at all. Yeah. So this, the sink is, um, I think it's called stone resin or something like that. This sink was, mm, it's under 150 pounds. Okay. Under 150 pounds, but you get um, like Lasso Stone, for example, mm. that's going to cost you seven, eight hundred yeah. pounds. But it looks like a similar sort yeah, of design yeah. to that. Only 150 pounds. Yeah. That's actually quite good. Really, really good. Really good. And then I guess you don't even have a vanity unit as well. So it like it kind of balances it out in terms of the yeah, price. I mean because you would have you could have bought a standard vanity unit with the drawers underneath, it would have been like clunky, but yeah. it would have been around 150 pounds. Yeah. Or you can get that. Good. This is it's quite a big bathroom, but there's a lot in here already. So yeah. I, I didn't want to just Yeah. No, I really over, love what you did the space. Over, over, Even with the extra mirrors, like everything's really nice in here. I really like this. It's it's because I'm aware of a lot of mistakes that were made in here that this room probably irritates me the most out of anywhere. Yeah. But if you come in for the first time, you're doing it. It does it does look good. I'm happy yeah. how it's turned out. Hundred percent, hundred percent. All right then, let's walk. I'm I'm just happy that you did that to be honest, because I knew <laughs> <laughs> I knew you could not I leave was it. Fighting like that. it. <laughs> I was fighting it, but uh, it just didn't make sense. So this is the smallest bedroom, isn't it? Yes. This is working backwards, right? This is bedroom four. Okay. This, this is this is bedroom four because by, by virtue of being the smallest. Yeah. However, small double or single? Oof. Small double or single? Now, myself as an investor and someone that likes to maximise my profits, small double. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a small double. It's a small double. Um, we had viewings during the week and yeah. they literally came and they said, have you got tape measure? Yeah. So they measured the headboard fits there and the headboard fits there. So oh. not only is it a small double, Perfect. you have choice. Exactly. You have, you have choice of where you're And I like that, and did you plan that? Because the sockets are positioned yes. perfectly yeah. to say, I've, it can go this honestly, way, yes. it can go this way, yeah. or it could probably go this way I, as well. I, I, didn't, I didn't consider it to go this side, but I designed the sockets for the headboard to go there or there. Yeah. Yeah, it's part of consideration, yeah. Nice small double. And yeah. again, it will work. For yeah, I think this is probably the biggest compromise. Yeah. Not from me, but the biggest compromise of the property itself. Yeah. But there's not there's nothing much you can do about yeah. the size of this room. But um, I think the other rooms more than make up for it. So. Yeah. I like the skirting height as well. How are these looking like 150s? 200. 200. 200. Yeah, these are They were initially high. supposed to be either 170 or 180, but yeah. when we took off the old... I was about to say the the wall just stopped. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we, we had to get higher skirting, but I'm I'm happy with that. I'm moving forward. I'm only gonna do um, not not two hundred, but high, tall. What is the where the skirting or Howden's? Howden's. Howden's skirting I, I is. I wouldn't so... I wouldn't go with Howden's again. Why? But only because they don't have the biggest choice. 
Oh, okay, okay. Nothing to do with quality or anything. I was about to say their their skirting prices are so competitive on the market across the market. But then there's so many places you can get them from. There's like skirting for you. There's like local timber yards. But then it's just I think for me it's the ease of just knowing that I can go. Yeah, yeah. and you can go in there if you need any extra. If you need to take some back, just take it back. No no delivery costs. Yeah, yeah, I I love Howden's for the convenience. Yeah. But like across the board, especially when they give you good discounts as well. Yeah. I'm buying skirting at the moment and they're giving me like fifty percent discount. Exactly. So my builder actually organised the skirting and yeah. doors. Doors are from Howden's as well. Oh right, yeah. Um, so I just kinda of left him to use whatever discounts. Yeah. Was it part of the doors were part of the build cost, but yeah. I had to supply flooring and okay. uh, skirting. Now with this herringbone, are these like individual planks with herringbone? I was no, the, uh, individual planks, yeah. Okay, individual nice. planks, they're, they're laminate, but they're yeah. 12 mil, so they're quite chunky yeah. for, for laminate. And um, got five mil bundle on them as well, so it's very, very sturdy. sturdy. Yeah, and all of the builders that have come in and said it's a very, very quality laminate. Yeah, um, like, especially you don't expect uh, an investor or a developer to be using that for a rental. Yeah, but again, longevity, maintenance, all of this sort of stuff, I think it makes sense to, to make a bit of an investment getting them thicker. Um, Smart guy, man. <laughs> Smart guy. <laughs> makes so much sense. I love it, I love it, I love it. Let's walk, Let's keep on walking. Now, through into... This is your original bedroom, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, this is what would have been the original master. Yeah. Um, really good size room. Massive windows. I nice. kind of I didn't really remember how big this window size was, um, but obviously needs a clean. But um, yeah, good view into the I garden in the back of the place. I think we need to give a big shout out to these rads, these cast iron rads. I've se- I saw it in that room, but just in this room, the height, the size of it really does stand out as a feature in this room. Yeah, I feel with a basic bedroom, there's not really many places where you can have like wow features. Yeah. So I think an easy way to do that is with the rads. Yeah. Um, yeah. They are a little bit more expensive than your, your standard radiators, but uh, I think I think they they are worth it. They are worth it. They they look good and yeah, just I, I like these. I've, I've used them in previous projects before and happy with how they turn out. Oh, nice, really good. My favorite thing about this room is actually the handles. I was actually going to point that so out. It's, it's the it's the cupboard as a whole, the wardrobe as a whole, but it's the handles. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this bespoke? Yeah. Okay, did you get your carpenter to make this or yeah. was this like a a you a yeah, carpenter to make it? So this is this is the other side, this is the end of the chimney breast. Yeah. So it's built to size. Okay. It's nice. built to size, so it's all, it's all flush. Yeah. And it's just clean. So are these panels? So do you bought all these panels separately? I can't remember the name of this material, but um it's, so it's very similar to MDF. Yeah. But it's, it has like a, a, a lacquered finish. Oh, okay. So it basically has some sort of like veneer on top of it. Mm. Um, but yeah, re- reasonably priced throughout as well. So we got wardrobes in, in all of the bedrooms apart from the small ones. Yeah. And then cupboards in the living room, which we'll see now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, reasonable. I think it's about between three and four grand all in. Mm. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right, into this. Oh, this is impressive. This, is, yeah. this this room feels really impressive. You know the, the order that we've done this walkthrough as well? Yeah. I think it gets more and more impressive. <laughs> as we go through. As we this go is, through. I like this. I didn't touch that. I like this a lot. I like the fact that you didn't touch that's, it as that's well. That's just an old feature. That's just an old feature. I have no reason to touch it. It, it works. Yeah, no, I do. I do. I do. I do really like it. And especially, right? So you've got all of this, all of this here. Wow, there's so much height, yeah. ceiling height, yeah. like, yeah. There's this room, I probably, I don't think I've got any complaints about how this room turned out. Yeah. The only, the only thing is that these aren't new. Okay. Um, these were here previously. I looked into replacing them. I think uh, this adds some character. I, I was looking to replace them like for like. Yeah. But I just looked at the prices. Yeah. <laughs> These are stupidly expensive. Oh, stupidly prices. expensive. You're just lucky that no one ripped it out during rip out stage because yes. they yeah, no, touched this. I made, I made I made it clear. I made it clear, and everyone was aware that these are, these are expensive. So yeah. Because if um, instead. Instead, I, I replaced it and I just got them. I just got a TV. <laughs> I think this is like one of those things where, when if a tenant was to come in and see the TV, they're, they're sold. If and they're it's, sold. The TV is actually a couple hundred pounds. Yeah. It's not, it's not going to break the bank at all. They are sold. Um, but it's just a really simple thing that 
like it makes the tenants enjoy the place even more, makes them respect the place. So. Oh yes, so these are the cupboards as well that you're yeah. still using, referring yeah. so to. So all of those cupboards well. are the same, same designs throughout. Um, quick thing on the flooring, I wanted to say in the other place, yeah. um, I was speaking to my sister the other day, she said, where'd you get the flooring from? Yeah. I said, I'm ashamed to say, Where I, got, I got done by Instagram ads. You know what's so funny? I, got I, I, I nearly Instagram. got done one time. I nearly did. I, I've did. always been one of those guys. Oh, never going to buy anything from Instagram. Never going to buy anything. Yeah. Fake website. No, 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 no. No, no, no. When I say I got done, like, quality's good. Yeah. I mean, I got sold by it. I got sold oh, by Oh, you got sold. I got I'm sold not... by the, the sponsored, sponsored post. Yeah. And, and you I, just I saw just... it. I said, wow, I need that. That would have taken courage to do that. I don't know if I would have done that. Aaron would have. I know Aaron would have. <laughs> Aaron is going to watch this. I don't know. He always gets done by the Instagram ads. Always. <laughs> this is the first time I've, I've, I've been done by it, but it turned out well. Floor Street. How much was it? Per uh, square meter? It was under £20. Twi- under £20? Under £20 pounds. per meter. Or oh. maybe £20.99. That is ridiculously yeah, cheap, yeah, by the way. It was good. good For herringbone plaque. That is cheap. Yeah. Yeah. It was. I don't, they had some sort of sale on, but they've always got some sort of yeah, sale. Yeah, <laughs> I think the good thing about those those websites, they're always like cheaper because of lower cost. They don't have a shop front. Yeah, they don't have, yeah, 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 It's yeah. just warehouse costs. I think, I think they do have, maybe you can go to the warehouse base in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? Oh, me, wait, me you're going to have to send me this, but yeah, 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 yeah. did your floor, was it the same team that did the flooring? Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. Builder. My main builder did it. Did he, well, how much did he charge you per square metre to fit it? It was part of, it was part of like a bigger... Um, oh, okay. It was with the rest of it. Oh, well. it was the rest of so, it. Because um, I'd be intrigued to know, like, what the difference is with. Because in in the past, I've used like herringbone patterned yeah. laminate, yeah. like planks, just the the big ones. But I do want to integrate this into my. I don't think it's too much brand. more expensive. I think it obviously it's it's more in terms of like yeah. labour. Yeah. But I think overall it doesn't work out too much. More yeah. Expensive. And it turns out it turns out pretty well. So I'm, I'm happy to have this turned out. No, this is this is nice. All right then, let's head upstairs because it gets better. This okay. ceiling height, how this must be like three meters. I'm not sure, but it, it's probably yeah. Looking, yeah. looking at the door, and there's probably a meter above the door. Yeah, that's, that's three meters. Must be like three meters, yeah. which is insane. So you, you can see. Okay, this some is of the mistake you snagging <laughs> bits that we're talking about. Oh yeah, because you were saying that because you had bought straight. You couldn't like bend around basically. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's one of those things, looking back on it, like hindsight is, is uh, um, what's it called? Hindsight is 2020, is that the, is that the same? I don't know, I'm bad with saying it, so I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, but yeah, it just had so much, uh, so many designs, design decisions to make at the time, it just, like, it just yeah. lost it. How do you go around this? So what are you so gonna do? Got, we got all of the straight bits installed, and yeah. I've spoken to the, um, the, the main guy of like, the, yeah. uh, the people who did the installation of this, yeah. this again that was a separate trade yeah um, but i basically said like can you come out and template this yeah and we'll just get something built to uh manufacture to match this okay and so that will just be put in retrospectively okay that's so that's, nice. it's not the biggest yeah. deal um it's not gonna affect oh my the gosh in i just got a sneak peek so yeah, I, I just I just ran in front because I didn't want to I didn't want to ruin the surprise out there. Wow, I just got a st- <laughs> okay. Enough talking about the stairs. I want to go up here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to talk about here. Let's let's go off in. Let's wow. Okay, okay. What what room are we doing first? Let's do. Let's I'll do close do this. Bedroom, then bathroom, then second bedroom. Oh, but this this skylight. this skylight is just such a nice touch. It, I had it in the drawings, yeah. but I didn't specify how big I wanted it. Yeah. But my builder just thought, you know what, we'll go as big as we can. I didn't, I didn't specify it to him. Wow. But sign of a good builder is like that sort of stuff. This is. He's, he's got a key knife for design as well. This um, is wow. So yeah, just floods the floods the hallway with so of much. Na- oh, yeah. Mark, mate, mate, <laughs> mate, <laughs> mate. Okay, well, let's do this room first. Yeah, we'll come in. This is this is one of the two loft bedrooms. Oh, this is a beautiful, beautiful space. So we've got, We've got Veluxes on both sides. This is a beautiful space, man. Loads of natural light in the front and back. Um, this was a secondary thought. Well, the wardrobes themselves weren't a secondary thought, but yeah. the location was a secondary okay. thought. I initially planned to have them on that wall there. All right. But because of the slope of the wall, yeah. it's not really usable space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so decided that this was the next best option for it. And I, I'm just, I, I think this is it. it's probably a, a much, much better option. Yeah. And they've got ample space in here as well. Yeah, and these, these drawers are... This makes so much sense. Yeah. And this is all custom built by... Yeah. Uh, God, just makes so In much. fact, it was actually um, Gleb. 
Oh, is it Glenn? Yeah, 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 oh, Glenn. 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 Oh, so he done all your wardrobes? Not yeah, the, the wardrobes and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. he didn't do a lot during the build, yeah, but it's just he just came in at the end with the wardrobes. Oh, Glenn, what a great guy! But um, yeah, because it's custom as well, just nice and clean finish at the end there. Yeah. Um, because of the location of the sockets as well, we've got the choice of whether you want to have the bed but on this, this wall side or, or that, that side. side. Oh yeah. wow! Um, I would ha I would have it on this side. Yeah, I would. I would, I yeah, would, yeah. I'd prefer, to, I'd prefer to open up my room and see and my see, bed. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. This is and then um, super, super impressive. Here. You're spoiling them. These are this his was, tenants. This was another unnecessary wow. design choice, but you can't get enough of. I'm classing this as outdoor space. Yeah. Even even though you what? don't, you can't actually go outside. No. This I think is... it, it classes as outdoor space because. Juliet Falcony. So you wake up in the morning and grab a nice coffee. Wow! <laughs> I would love to live here. Would you not love to live here? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. That with your friends as well. hundred percent. This would be such a spot. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. The compromise of that small bedroom, the rest of the house, it, yeah. it, it makes up for it. Yeah, it 100%. It. And I said house, I keep on, it's a flat. It's a flat, but it, it feels like a house. It doesn't house. feel like a flat, does it? And like, even the ceiling height in here is this crazy. Is, this is the lowest room as well. This Matt. is the lowest room. We'll go through to the bathroom. You're impressed. Look at your, <laughs> your, so, your smug face. That is like, Do you know what? Do you know what? It's, it's all my design. I designed, I designed everything. I'm, I'm very proud yeah, of Yeah, you should it, be very proud. Out. You should be super proud of yourself. Kept it consistent with the type of tile. Yeah. yeah. Um, Mandarin so, stone again. Mandarin stone again. Just a different color. Oh. Um, Lost, lost finish. You're gonna make me start spoiling my HMOs, you know? <laughs> like, I'm gonna start going crazy. I feel like you can go crazy without even spending that much money as well. Um, are you saying so that? So I mix and match, these, these are from Boydens. Okay. Nice. And these were, these were probably like, these are nice. mid thirties. Pounds per square meter. Pounds per square meter, yeah. We've got concealed, um, concealed system, everything. Yeah. And then we got, so we got our, our soft closed vanity there yeah. as well. Um, nice, I thought that was a nice touch. And because of the, the awkward space here, yeah. I kind of, I, I was searching random shapes mirror. And <laughs> <laughs> um, Mano Mano sorted me out. Oh my days. So I love Mano Mano. I get a lot of my face from They got good choices. Oh, and it does like the it's thing got, where it's it can three clear different, it. Three different. I like the um, warm light on it. Not this one. Yeah, I do like that. So at night time, at night time, this uh, bathroom feels, it, yeah, it's a nice, nice feeling in there. Nice earthy and this, tones, and then you got... And this fluted... Yeah. Ah, oh, I love this vanity unit as well. Yeah. Where's the vanity unit from? I think it's from Plum World. This is nice. I think it's from Plum World. We initially had uh, an 800 metre. Yeah. 800 metre, 800 millimetre. Um, but it just restricted this walkway a bit much. Mm. So I had to switch up. Or, yeah. oh, this bathroom is so last nice. Last thing as well, um, the walk-in-ish. It's wide enough and long enough to just be, didn't need an uh, enclosure. Yeah. Um, it, I would have normally gone built in, yeah. but maintenance reasons, it's just easier. If ever something goes wrong, plumber can come in in half an hour, yeah. switch yeah. out, done. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's, that's the only reason why we went for this. But I think it still looks good. No, it's not, it looks normally really not good. my favourite, but it, I think it looks I think good. it looks really good. Yeah. Yeah. I think that doesn't look like a problem at all. I love this bathroom. Are these the same tiles on the floor? No. Oh yeah, the floor, yeah, yeah. The yeah, floor yeah. and the walls. Oh, yeah. It doesn't look like the same. It looks like there is a bit of a contrast. You think so? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like the floor's got more of a texture to it than the walls. The walls are a bit a smoother colour. The, the floor might just be a bit dirty. <laughs> 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 Alright, yeah. Yeah. Now I need to go into my favourite room. I already that's, know that's, that's Yeah, I already favorite. know that's my favourite room that's from what favorite. I saw. That's my favorite room. In that split second. That's my favourite room. From what I saw in that split second. Okay. Oh. Man, oh man. Man, oh man. <laughs> I kept on, in my, my weekly updates, I kept on banging on about the ceiling heights in this room. I didn't know you could get ceiling heights this big in a loft. This is insane. This is, this is like three meters yeah. in, in a loft. This is insane. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the but I, I'm guessing because this is all new, like ceiling. This is all new yeah, ceiling. Yeah, this yeah, is just airspace. Yeah. Yeah, this was just airspace before. So this is. I remember, wow. remember last time we pointed out the sloped wall. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. This is how it turns out. Um, what did you do with the chimney in the end? Actually, we can see it when we go outside. Okay, brilliant. But um, it kind of restricts 
this space a little bit. Yeah. But I think I would still have the bed on this side. Would you? You, you, you lose a little bit of, um, you just don't go for a super tall, um, what's it called, headboard. A headboard. Yeah, you just have a low headboard and you get it as far back as you can and you only lose a little bit of... Yeah, I, no, I think I'm going here, you know. In this space, you think so? Yeah, I think I'm going here. It messes here. up the feng shui. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going here. Because then what's you can't, you can't What's that guy's it? name on Instagram? Do you know, do you um, that guy's... I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. I can't remember his name. What's his name? I can't remember his name. Oh, that's going to annoy me. The guy with glasses, Charlie, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool guy, <laughs> yeah. He had the appearance on, like, Breaks and Disorder. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But yeah, you, it, it ruins the walkthrough from the bedroom to the outside. So I'd, I'd have the bed on that side. Mm. And then also, if you have the bed on that side, you can put in a desk here. Yeah. Or and I like the radiator choices as yeah. well, because it so we doesn't for, take up any space. We went for vertical in the loft and then horizontal yeah. all, all downstairs. It doesn't take up any space. And it's then, a really good choice. Come on, my favourite my favorite <laughs> bit of the house. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. This view here is impressive, yeah. and I think it's yes, it's I, nice I to look at the garden. I love how peaceful this bit is as well, because the high street's only just there. Yeah. But because we're enclosed in by just residential, it feels very secluded and private. And like the view into the garden is nice, but also as a developer looking backwards and being able yeah. to admire yeah, 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 your yeah, project yeah. again, is one a, feeling again as well. at night time as well, because we got the outdoor lights here. Um, this place, is, yeah, it just looks. You even gave them nice outdoor thing. power. Yeah, it was, un it was unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> it was unnecessary. It was unnecessary. Um, we wow. also fixed up some of this wall. Yeah. So it was exactly. a, li a little bit dated yeah. before, but we just repointed a couple of these bits, and we've uh, we've done some pointing on like the chimney stacks okay. as well. So was that the same build team, or did you get a separate contract? Yeah, same build team. Same build. Same build team. team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brought them in to do that. But wow. yeah, I, I love how this this place has turned out. I was debating between. Um, Aluminium, yeah. so like aluminium ba um, balustrades, yes. or just like glass like this. Yeah, yeah. And I, I thought I have to, I have to just go out and the. It's this was maybe a reckless decision. Yeah. Because of the price difference. What was the price difference? About, about four and a half grand. What? Yeah, these the these glass one two three four five six plus supply and fit was just under five grand. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you're an interesting person, by the way. Someone right. that didn't want to redo their bathroom is happy to spend an extra five grand on balustrades. <laughs> on the... I was, I don't know. I was, I was being optimistic. I was being optimistic, but I think this, I would have been very upset if I didn't do this. Yeah, this, I, I, I think oh, this is, wow. this is the... I think the colour of your slates as well is so nice as well. Yeah. Yeah, just, just everything. It ties in really nicely up here. Um, yeah. And, it's, and it gives a whole new feel. This gives me, like, it feels very Fulham-esque, you know? That's the chimney that we're talking about. Oh, right. So um, so you completely got rid of it? Yeah, so because the chimney was leaning out so much. Yeah. Um, and actually, building regs, when you go, when you build a loft, yeah. you have to increase your chimney yeah. to above the building. Yeah. Um, so we just said to the neighbour, is, is it in use? Like, can, yeah. we just, can we just get rid of it? Yeah. And he said that, you know, I don't use it. Let's just decommission it. Okay, so perfect. So we just, we just got rid of it and it saved costs because we didn't have to build it I was about to say, it would have been cheaper to yeah, do yeah, all of that, yeah. isn't it? So, um, wow. yeah, in terms of, in t we didn't really have any unforeseen costs. That would have been one of them. Biggest one, yeah. Yeah, that would have been one of the bigger ones. Um, so in terms of cost for this loft alone, because I think a lot of people would love to know doing these types of conversion size of this loft uh 40 square meters just For, over there. 40 square meters yeah. huge and how much was it to build I th it's a bit difficult because the same builder did the existing as well yeah but i would put the split about 70 in the loft area and then about 35 on the existing floor 70 in the loft which is mad let's do a quick calculation 70,000 pounds yeah. divided by 40,000 pounds <laughs> which is probably well, let me try it one three one oh no one thousand <laughs> yeah <literally. laughs> 70 grand divided by so we're looking at a uh, price per square meter of 1750 yeah did I say one seven did I say one seven? I think I said one seven, actually. I think I said yeah, one seven. Smart, yeah, smart yeah. Smart, smart <laughs> Don't worry. I actually got an A in A-level maths. Don't worry, man. I did not get an A in A-level maths. <laughs> Don't worry right. about that. <laughs> that is actually really good. £1,700. Because yeah. if you think about the cost, the price per square metre on the back end of 
an area like this, mm -hmm. it's crazy. You're yeah, probably looking it's, at like it's, 8, it's pounds pounds per square meter. I'm not sure how much it is actually in this area, but I'm waiting for my valuation. Yeah, oh, yeah, so when your valuation comes, comes back. Yeah. But this is mad. Yeah. That, I think we I briefly mentioned unforeseen costs before. Um, had a bit of a miscommunication with the builder initially. Yeah. Um, he didn't, from the um, drawings I gave him, it didn't show that this was a mansard. Oh, okay. So the roof added on probably, I think, about 4K. That yeah. was unexpected. That's not too bad, though. Um, then the bathroom, I didn't expect to do as well. Yeah. That was another unforeseen cost. How much did you spend in the bathroom? About five and a half, six. Yeah, that's... Somewhere, like, somewhere yeah. around that. For um, that bathroom, that's good. And then what was the other thing? No, I think it was just those two. I think... Right. Oh, this as well. I, I didn't... I didn't budget for this. Yeah. So those are the three big things which made me go above the hundred. You're a bit emotional when it comes to your refurbs, isn't it? You're an yeah, emotional. I, I am. I am. I, am, I, am. I, I, I take. I take a lot of pride in the final product. Yeah. I would have. It would have upset me if I came in and I was unhappy about so many little bits. Yeah. But where it's to my standard, I would love to live in. A place yeah. Like I, this. I guess that's the importance of it. It's like envisioning your own yourself yeah. being in living yeah. in this property, and this is one property I'd love to live yeah. in. So, Even like have a family and a family could it's easily a, be in, it could be easy yeah. family home so right. we actually um, we, because of the us being in mid-november yeah it was a bit awkward because uh pictures wouldn't have been ready until pretty much now yeah um so we decided to market without pictures yeah um and i think we had on the first day yeah. we had a group of four girls that yeah. came in um, who showed initial interest, but we didn't hear back from them for like a day or something. Yeah. Like, that seems weird. I would yeah. have thought they'd put in an offer. Yeah, immediately. straight away. Yeah. Yeah. But then after a couple of days, they came back with a decent offer. Yeah. So we got we got them moving in on Tuesday now. Now. Very wow. very quick turnaround. Very quick turnaround. Very quick turnaround. So get get your money back, man. <laughs> have to. I have to. I have to. I have to. This um, my pocket's empty right now. My wallet is. Ooh. Get your money so, back. So yeah, man. need needing that ASAP. But it's a it's a good feeling to know that tenants are going to have a, a great place to yeah. stay. There's, yeah. uh, there's not been any compromise for that, so I'm sure they'll wow. be happy. Mark, thank you so much. This has been down. this has been super inspiring for myself. I'm I've done a lot before, but not to this scale. Yeah, so right. the next one I'm doing now will be to this scale. So this is super inspiring to be able to see something this I wanna, big. I want to see your design touches. I want to see I want to see a lovely bathroom. I'm doing an HMO. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I need my money. I need my profits to be good and healthy. I don't know. I'm not as emotional developer as you are, but I do like to look after my tenants. Yes, and don't yeah, get me wrong. Yeah, I do yeah, take yeah. pride in my work as yeah. well. So I am looking forward to doing it. I've got the lock conversion to one bedroom flat going on at the moment as well. So oh, yeah. nice again, nice, yeah. this is, I'm taking a lot of inspiration of how you're using the space because I've got big slopes as well. So yeah. I'm seeing, okay, that's how you've been able to utilize the space, which is really good. And I'm sure a lot of people at home watching this will be super inspired with this the scale of this project. For a flat as well, it's mad. You've yeah. like increased the- footprint. We didn't even go to the private garden. Private God, did you do anything to it? No, oh. so it, it still needs just a bit of sweeping up and everything. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's a flat with a private garden as well as three yeah. terrace and Juliet balcony. So <laughs> I had to throw that in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting on, I'm, I'm turning to letting <laughs> agent. He's literally got, selling it. He's <laughs> <laughs> got all of the above. Yeah, well, brilliant. Well, thank you so much for inviting us back. Again, where can they follow you, see your journey and see what else you've got to achieve? Because I'm sure a lot of people will want to be following you now. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to post a little bit more regularly. Now okay, we like to do that. <laughs> Mostly on Instagram. So at mako.property. So M-A-K-O dot property. You'll catch me there. All right, brilliant. Thank you so much. So everyone, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.